Hello everyone and welcome to the one and only Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm your host Scott Fry and what I'm about to say in this show may seem a little strange to everyone out there but in fact a healthy mouth is supposed to have millions of bacteria growing and living inside of it. The only difference between an unhealthy mouth and a healthy mouth is the quality of bacteria that are growing on the surfaces of your teeth, your tongue, and anywhere else inside your mouth. And whether or not there's more good bacteria or more bad bacteria living there. And the big problem with many of the mouthwashes available in stores today is that they just kill bacteria indiscriminately. And this is a lot like simply setting fire to your lawn just to kill the weeds that are living there. And it's not consistent with what we know about oral health. Now, while it's true that from time to time it is necessary to use antiseptic mouth rinses, uh, say for instance when there's an overgrowth of unhealthy bacteria, it's far more effective, and if I may use uh, our lawn metaphor a little bit more, to just kill the weeds specifically and lay down some fertilizer so you can grow a nice healthy lawn. And in a nutshell, that's what we're trying to do with a daily mouth rinse. The ideal daily mouthwash should support and maintain oral health. And basically, there are four key components to what makes up a more, um, a, an ideal mouthwash. So you should keep this in mind when you're picking one up at the store. Number one, first and foremost, it should have an alkaline pH and it should not contain chelating ingredients because we don't want to have any erosive effects on the teeth while we're using the mouthwash. Number two, it should have fluoride because fluoride and the availability from using a mouthwash daily, the fluoride is going to be more available topically for your teeth to provide a protective effect. Third, it should have a low staining capacity. And while stains on teeth aren't unhealthy, usually whiter teeth, and I'm not talking toilet bowl white and that ridiculous white that you sometimes see out there and that some people seem to like, um, whiter teeth are more representative of health and we don't want a mouth rinse that's going to increase staining unless you know, some of these other factors are very essential to what a particular individual needs for their oral health. And last but not least, it should have probiotic factors. And this is a relatively new and growing area of dentistry and what these are are essentially ingredients that specifically kill bacteria that are bad and enhance the growth of bacteria that are healthy. And an example of this actually is, interestingly, alkaline pH, because what an alkaline pH will do is put environmental pressures on the bacteria growing in your mouth if you use it with um, daily frequency or even more than that a couple times a day. It'll put environmental pressures on the bacteria so that way the growth of healthy bacteria will outpace the gross growth of bad bacteria and this is supportive of overall oral health. Now next week we're going to talk about the top three mouthwashes that you can get either online or in supermarket stores so stay tuned and take care everyone.